All right, so now let's continue further and now look at perpendicular vectors. So, um, and yeah, here, this uh, heading, I'll put this in the uh, topics to cover. I just added this uh, right now. So anyways, uh, two non-zero vectors A and B are perpendicular or orthogonal. Again, uh, basically the 90 degrees setup like that. If the angle between them is uh, theta equals to pi over two radians or uh, 90, degree, 90 degrees. Uh, then the alternative dot product formula becomes, or definition two, uh, this just becomes uh, a dot b for uh, the angles, for the, th the angle theta is equal to pi over two. Uh, this is equals two, like this, a, like that. Uh, yes, this becomes, and then uh, the cosine, the cosine pi over two. In other words, this becomes, well, this is a zero, actually. So this equals a zero. And we'll illustrate this later. This is cosine pi over two. And uh, yeah, I'll graph this out later for cosine just to recall it later. But uh, yeah, so cosine pi over two is zero. So this whole thing vanishes. And that's when it's uh, orthogonal or uh, perpendicular when the non-zero vectors A and B are perpendicular. And conversely, if the dot product A dot B is equal to zero, then cosine theta is also going to equal to zero. and hence uh, cosine, yeah, so this cosine right here. So this dot product is zero, then this one has to be zero too if these ones are non zero. So then you have the cosine is going to be zero, uh, so then the th angle is going to be theta is equal to pi over two. And uh, yeah, so uh, the zero vector, uh, uh, this right here, zero vector, is considered to be perpendicular to all vectors. So yes, very interesting. So zero vector is always perpendicular, just by definition. Therefore, we have the following method for determining whether two vectors are orthogonal. Two vectors A and B are orthogonal or perpendicular if and only if the dot product is equal to zero. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, fascinating stuff there. And now let's take a look at example four. And this one states, show that if two i, uh, this is the standard basis vector, two i vector plus two j uh, minus k is perpendicular to uh, five i minus four j plus two k. So show that this is perpendicular. So solution, determining the dot product, is all we gotta do is determine dot product. If it's zero, then uh, it's perpendicular. All right, let's take a look at this dot product. All right, so we get, um, I'm just gonna write this like this, two, and put as regular brackets, the, the vectors are already inside, plus two i uh, plus two j uh, minus k vectors placed on top, uh, and then dot five i vector minus four j vector plus two k vector like this and then uh yeah the, the dot product uh, all the component parts here i'm going to write this actually I'm gonna write this move it to the left okay so move it over there this equals two and i'm gonna put it over here. let's put it here let's put it, where should we put it right here see. all right and then this is two times five yeah this is gonna be two times five plus uh, yeah, two times negative four, and then plus negative one, and then two, like that. This equals to 10 minus eight minus two, and yeah, that's just 10, so this equals to uh, zero. Yeah, so it is uh, orthogonal, or perpendicular, or a better box, perfect. All right, yeah, so uh, finish off example four. So thus, these vectors are perpendicular by the earlier theorem.